Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So guys, we are going to continue with the Ford Focus today. Um, and I've got another Fiesta coming in with, um, it's the rear suspension uh, bushes um, have, uh, have, have gone as, again. Uh, it seems to be quite a popular <laughs> part to fail on them Fiesta Mark 7s is the rear bushes. So, yeah, we've got that coming in as well. So I really need to get this one at a point where it's all back together and the wheels um, are back on and we can put it on the ground, really. So um, I did a little bit last night before I left to go home. Let me show you that first and then we're going to get straight into it. Let's do this. Right, just quickly, guys. <clears throat> so, let me just explain what I did last night before I went home, after the filming. Um, I basically got all the engine uh, timed and locked and pinned. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's all set, ready to remove the crank bolt at the bottom, uh, the, the pulley uh, and the belt so, you know, that, that, that support the engine. It's all locked. You've got the plate at the back here. Locking the two cams. Uh, I've taken removed the actual starter motor in there. You can see it just removed away. And there's a plate that's locking the flywheel. So that's locked. Um, you've got a pin underneath down on the side of the on the side of the engine there, which locks it as well. It's got like a pin. So the actual engine is all lined up and timed. Um, it is top dead center. I took off the spark plug number one cylinder this one here and then put a screwdriver to make sure it's, it is high so that means it's a tdc so yeah it's all ready for that bolt to come off so let's get set up remove all this engine mount get the water, water pump off the old one um, get the belt out of the way put the new pump in place put the new belt in place um, and then just basically, yeah, just basically do the reverse of what we did yesterday. I'm going to, I'm going to also just put that sump plug back in place because that is now completely drained because <laughs> I left it overnight. So yeah, let's get set up. Let's crack on. It's going to be a busy day today. Let's do this. Right, okay, so guys, there we go. New water pump, new timing belt, um, all in place. And um, yeah, basically it's ready to, uh, it's all been done up, all talked. So yeah, basically now it's ready to put all the um, reverse bits and pieces back on. And um, yeah, trying to give it a start up and see how it goes, but I'm sure there's going to be nothing, nothing's moved, but I don't think we're going to get any problems with this one. So, yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's now set back up. We'll do the reverse, put it all back together and, uh, yeah, continue. But, you know, I, I've done so many of these engines, um, in the Fiestas, the Focuses. I've done so many of them, um, that it don't, I know exactly <laughs> what 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 size bolts are what 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 in what order to do things and i just 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 yeah because you do so many of them it's just it makes it so much quicker 
So let's, um, yeah, let's now box it all up, put it all back together and uh, carry on. So let's do this.
Right, guys, time has come. All back together. Everything's been done up. Fresh oil in. Fresh air filter has been put in place. Oil filter. So I haven't tried this yet, but I think we're ready to go for it. So let's connect the battery. Oh, no, go down. That's it. Right, bit of power. Okay, so let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Lovely. There you go. Straight up. No hesitant, nothing. I know because nothing's moved on it, so I knew it was going to be good. It's really ticking over nice, actually. Um, I'll just do the coolant a little bit because it's dropped. I'll put a little bit more coolant in that. Um, I'll get my levels right, get my oil level right as well. Um, put the wheels back on. Actually, I'll leave it running for a few more seconds just because of the oil. Go around the oil oil filter and then um, I'll turn it off and then I'll just top it back up put the wheels back on and then I'll leave it for now and then we'll move on because I've got the Fiesta sitting outside that's it I'll turn it off and then I'll check my levels sort out the coolant check my oil level chuck the wheels on outside it goes and then I'm going to bring in the Fiesta so we can crack on with that one so but yeah at least the timing belt's done the water pump's done and then the service has been sorted and done as well. So looking good. Actually pretty quick, this one. Um, so yeah, bear with me for the moment. I'm going to bring the Fiesta in and I'll explain what is going on with that one. So <laughs> let's do this. Right, guys. So here we go. Ford Fiesta, 2010, 80,000 miles. And the yeah, when you're driving it, it's... Crunch, 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 bang, bang, bang <laughs> on the rear. So I believe it's the rear axles uh, on the bushings, bushes. Um, normal stuff for these Fiestas if they go that bad. So I think the last ones we did, I had to drill them out. So you have to drill out the old ones and then they sort of come free. And then you just push those um, in place. And um, yeah, put it all back together. Um, it's nice that I've got the ramp because I can take it up to a certain point and then use the actual uh, jack as a as a as a as a stat like a, a, a you know a underneath it so it supports it. So yeah, um, so that's what we're gonna do. So wheels off, drop this subframe, probably down. I don't know if I could do one at a time. I can't remember how we did it not before. I'll have to go back and check the video. See if I if I've done both at the same time, one at the same time. I don't know. Anyway, let's get set up, <laughs> see how it goes. Let's do this.
Right, okay guys, there we go. So let me show you. Rear subframe is, is hanging down and I'm supporting it with the jack with some timbers there. So I can lower it up and down to what point as well. Um, and these are the bushes that are causing the noise. This one's not bad, but it is loose a little bit. But um, it's not, it's not, I've seen worse basically. But um, yeah. They just it's just a wear and tear part you know it just happens on all these fiestas this one's probably worse yeah this one is probably one the one that's making most of the noise that movement there you can see it even though it's not you know it's not a lot but that is gonna be yeah that is gonna be really noisy and and, and making a racket so we're gonna swap these out um normal stuff really i've done these before you drill them out there um, and then you just cut away uh, one side to uh, allow the thing to collapse in itself and it just pulls out. You have to obviously put them back in the right position. So you've got a little notch here, that little notch there. So that the new one's got to go in line with that. So we'll, we'll, we'll clean all that off and mark it up where it should be. Both sides, drill them out and then basically just press the new ones in. Um, I'll have to get that press, copy that press kit I've got. Um, it's over there somewhere, like a little uh, kit. You just you just push them in. So, yeah, let's get on now with the job of getting these out. So let's do this. Right, Whew. okay guys, they're both out. Um, and yeah, I just drilled around and then eventually just fell apart. But yeah, all the bits and pieces, that's the old one there. But yeah, not too bad. Um, that one's done and this side's done as well. You just see me do that in the time lapse. Um, but yeah, you've got to drill out around it. Um, and then nine times out of 10, because you're drilling around it, this bit of plastic, um, it sort of wears it away a little bit like that. Um, and then that's it, it just kind of falls out and that's what's happened. Got a little bit of clean up inside here. Um, 
just to make sure that it's all nice and tidy. Then put some grease, just some um, multi-purpose grease inside the actual hole. And then we're going to push the new ones in place, put it all back up, and then that should be it. But you don't, the bolt that you do, um, is it this one, yeah, this one. The bolt that this, got, this goes up with, you do that up once the car's on the ground on its four wheels, and then you do that bolt up. So that's what we've got to do. You don't do it up um, tight when it's in there because it ain't in the right position when it goes down on suspension, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, let's... Uh, I'll have a quick tidy up because <laughs> I don't like working around mess. Um, and then we're going to push... Um, Grease all these up, tidy it all up, put some, uh, put some, and start pushing the new ones in. So let's crack on, let's continue, let's do this. So there we go. That is the new bushes in place. Yeah, this should be a lot, lot quieter now. Um, both sides are done. The notch is exactly where the notch is marked there. Um, and yeah, you put the cup over it um, and then just start pushing it through. A little bit of grease on the inside, multi-purpose grease. And it just, yeah, just pushes it in, slides it through. So yeah, very, very good job. So... All we've got to do now is put these brackets um, over the top, um, <clears throat> put them back up, do up the jack upwards, do the three bolts up, um, but don't do the middle bolt that goes through here. Don't do that one up yet. Um, and then once those three bolts on the brackets up, you can then drop the car down and then do up the bolt tight. Put it through, but obviously do it, do it tight, tighten it up um, when, when it's on the floor. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do next. So, and uh, we're getting close to uh, getting this one done. Starting to get used to doing these now. Um, done a couple of these rear bushes. So, yeah, starting to get used to um, the way it is, the process and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, let's carry on. Let's do this.
Well, guys, that is another rear axle bushes changed and done. So as you just saw there, you have to bring it away because I had to pull it off the ramp um, to give me enough space underneath there to be able to do it. Otherwise, if it was on the ramp, it, it, was, it was too close to the underneath of the seal. And I just couldn't get under there to do up the bolt. So, yeah, that's done, both sides. Um, I'm just going to take it for a quick drive just to see what it drives like, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Um, I already done the rear shocks on this car um, a little while back. So, yeah, and I did mention it to him because he asked me to do, to do the rear shocks. I said, yeah, I could do the rear shocks, no problem. And then whilst I was there and I took it for a test drive, I could definitely hear that banging and knocking. And it's been getting worse and worse and worse for the customer. So this is why um, he bought it in for me to change them. Now it's going to drive like brand new again, basically, because it's not going to be that knocking, banging noise coming from the back end of the car. So yeah, but a very um, a very common issue with these Mark 7s on those bushes. I think the Mark 6s didn't suffer as bad. Uh, but these ones do seem to suffer with, do with those rear bushes sort of failing. Um, you know, after 10 years old, 11 years old, then they start making a noise and, and, and a whining and a banging and a crashing and stuff like that. So, yeah, another happy customer. Um, this one can go. It is Friday, guys. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video. Have a great weekend, um, and I'll see you Monday. We're going to have the Focus, Black Focus, back in the workshop. I'm going to go and pick up the both doors and the wing in the morning, Saturday morning, ready for us to work on it uh, on Monday morning and hopefully get it completed. We'll see. Um, we'll see what it turns out. Well, we won't, we won't get it completed because it needs a bit of paint work on that front bumper. So it's got to go to the paint shop. But my part will be completed. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how easy it is to swap those doors over on the Focus. But that's it, guys. Have a great weekend. Um, I'll see you Monday. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop me a comment. Give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you Monday. Take care. See you soon.